from time to time, people waste food. Whether it's the rotten ingredients in the refrigerator or the extra slice of pizza from last night's party. But just because people throw things away doesn't mean they just want to waste things. Simply because maybe people just don't know what else can they do about it. I think it wasn't a problem a lot of us were really aware of. I don't think we understood the magnitude or the scale of the problem, but now we're really having a light shown on the issue, and that's really helping a lot of people make better decisions. But nonetheless, food waste has become a massive climate problem. Of all the food that the world produces every year, 30% is just wasted. And here in the United States, this ratio is even higher at 40%. This is even more unbelievable when we think about that more than 40 million Americans don't have enough food in their household. In 2017, the National Resource Defense Council tracked the food waste problem in New York City, Denver, and Nashville, and found that each resident across these cities wastes about 3.5 pounds of food per week, while most of those food were still good to eat. The problem is not just how much food we waste, but also how the food we waste is going to haunt us back. The more food we waste, the more expensive food might be in the future. And why? Because food waste changes the climate. Besides the emissions from the food production process, which already is the climate problem, there's now extra emission from landfills while decaying the food. According to Environmental Protection Agency, food is the single largest component that's taking up space inside US landfills. The food waste has become so serious of a problem for global climate that if food waste was a country, it will be the third largest greenhouse gas emitter in the world. As the climate worsens, more extreme weather will interrupt agricultural activities, which means that there will be less food in the market, with prices being a lot higher. But when it comes to why people throw food away, the reasons are just sometimes incredibly simple. Our grocery stores have beauty standards for food, and lots of produce doesn't need it. I think that grocery stores are really good at getting us to impulse buy. We often feel like we need to buy more. The way grocery stores are set up is to give the appearance of abundance because the appearance of abundance causes us to buy more food than we need. And we look in our fridges and we have all of that abundance. Then oftentimes we can get overwhelmed because it's too many choices. So we wind up ordering takeout and forgetting about our vegetables left in the crisper. And since the causes are just so simple, it's not going to be extremely hard to change this behavior. And besides mitigating climate change, there are also a lot of personal benefits that we can gain from reducing our own food waste. Let's just think about, for example, a family of four. Um, if they waste $1 less on food every day, they're going to save $4 per day. And for a year, that's going to be around $1,500. And that sounds like a solid investment return. So one of the really common suggestions for people to get into shape and stay fit or to save money and time is meal prep, which means that you plan and prep your weekly meal ahead of time and then stick to it for the whole week. And by prepping your meals and therefore groceries accordingly, they really kill two birds with one stone. And there are just hundreds of thousands of YouTube videos uh, that teach you the creative ways for you to prep your meal or there are lots of delivery services that will just deliver the right amount of ingredients for you to cook certain meals so that you don't end up wasting a lot of the ingredients. Try some new and creative and innovative recipes. You know, turn those leftovers into a brand new incredible dish to wow your dinner guests and while they're enjoying it, you can just casually brag about how smartly you're using leftovers because, well, you're just saving the planet. Some people would throw food and ingredients away just because those ingredients looked funny. But just because they are not the most Instagrammable ones doesn't mean they're not good to eat. But if for any reason you really just don't want to use those ingredients, you can always donate them to a local food bank or a civil group that they will help to get those ingredients to those people who are really in need. So I actually started making a lot of these changes out of financial necessity because reducing waste, especially in our homes, often leads to saving quite a bit of cash. So switching out 
your disposable products for reusable ones. It's going to help disposable products are just fantastic at letting you save money. So I think what you're doing by highlighting the issue, showing what's happening, and actually being able to have these conversations is something that's really, really important. One thing about food waste is that although it's a global problem with real consequences, it can be significantly dealt with by adopting one single practice we can all easily accomplish. Because when it comes to climate, no action is too small.